Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn This Be With Mahesh. First of all, wish you all a very happy new year 2022. So, today I wanted to share my understanding about OS logging. So, in the yesterday's video, I had mentioned one of the best way of learning is self-learning. So, whenever I have done trainings and also, the one question which comes to me is, what is OS login? What is that difference between OS login and the normal uh, private key, public key, SSH option and doing it? So, I was usually not getting uh, a little hand on that what to explain basically uh, as i mentioned so i did yesterday some uh, self learning and was able to get an idea uh, so i wanted to share my understanding of the os login feature which you get in google compute engine so let's get into the part before i show the actual demonstration a quick shout out uh, i'm starting my customized uh, professional cloud architect training batch 8 so which is going to be starting tentatively on 8th of january if you are interested you can drop me a mail for more details so let's go into the demonstration so where I can show you what was my understanding of OS login all right we are in a project called as happy new year 2022 so we are going to create a virtual machine and basically I'll explain you the concept there so what I have understood so but before I create a virtual machine the first thing which I wanted to do is I wanted to go to the metadata section in the virtual machine and I see nothing no metadata no SSH key it's a clean slate so now let's create a virtual machine and with almost everything default but couple of extra things which I'm going to do so to make the demo very simple so we'll call this as uh, demo on enable OS login so this is what we are going to do so i'll put it in uh, singapore and i'm going to leave everything default uh, for simplicity reason i wanted to basically don't want to have any service account i can create virtual machines without service account so that is possible so i'm going to leverage that to make this demonstration a little easy to understand uh, because I have seen a uh, few other videos, few other concepts explained in uh, YouTube. Uh, it becomes a little complicated when we start putting the service account. So I just wanted, don't want to get into that complication. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So going into the management section, this is the only additional thing which I'm going to add. An idea, a metadata field called as OS login. True. That's it folks. So everything left default, only two things, no service account and added a metadata field called as uh, enable OS login. This you can add it at a, a virtual machine level, you can add it at a project level, you can add it at an folder level or you can add it at a uh, organization level depending on what is your requirement. So let me click on create and we know uh, from yesterday's video it's going to take around 15 seconds. So let me close my eyes for 15 seconds so that I can get relaxed. Once the VM is up, I'll show you the next part of the demonstration. It's not yet there. Let's wait for it to come up. So it's taking longer time today. So I can, awesome, it's there, it's there. So now before uh, I do anything further, just wanted to show you, is there any metadata field or SSS key I am refreshing the screen forcefully still you will see nothing there's nothing going to be created that's one thing then because I am the owner you should be able to log in so if I just go to my IAM so I have logged in as this user learn GCP with Mahesh uh, at the rate gmail.com and that's what you see I am the owner now let me SSH into this virtual machine and I should definitely be able to SSH should not have any issues but since we have enabled OS login the user ID is going to also include the Gmail at the rate what is the domain so it is going to include that at the rate is going to be replaced with underscore now if I just type who am I it is going to show this is the person and I'm not a so root user so usually in Linux the root user is going to be indicated by hash so now it is seeing showing as dollar so I cannot do anything much basically like I cannot install anything I should be an admin so to become an admin there are different commands one of the simplest command is sudo minus s now you can see the change in the prompt from dollar I have it became a uh, um, hash 
now if i type who am i it is going to show basically root now i can do any installation folks as a uh, root user this is one of the biggest advantage because uh, just getting an access to a virtual machine is not sufficient we may need to install certain stuffs so this uh, root user is going to be really helpful the, or the sudo access so this is the part now i have logged in i did some little commands now if i go to my metadata section still nothing is going to be there but if you have not put that field right uh, enable hyphen os login then we would have seen couple of ssh keys here but because of that it is not created so this is the first part now what i wanted to do is possibly could be an examination question which talks more about this kind of stuffs uh, like how do you give access and control for a group of users so what i thought is i'll use a group called as gcp groups i have created a group i am the only member currently what i will do is i will basically go and add google groups to be very frank there's only one user so this i have to give a role i can basically go with two roles what i wanted to do basically is i wanted to give only uh, access to a couple of people who's belonging or anybody who's belong to this group but they should not be able to uh, become a root user administrative access so if you see if i give compute os admin they will be able to as an administrator but there is one more role called as compute os login as a non administrator i am going to give this role so the only difference between these two roles is one permission so this permission is missing in a uh, compute os login uh, role so role and permissions are different i have seen people misuse or interchangeably use it not misuse interchangeably use it but in gcp you can only assign role to a uh, group to a user or to a service account or basically to an identity so that's one important stuff you need to remember so let's go ahead and give compute os login user role so compute engine and it's good to scroll and know because you can see various roles coming for example today i was scrolling and uh, to look into the various roles one thing which i found was there is something new coming video stitcher so if we search here right so something like compute os login i'll definitely get it but the advantage of scrolling and looking into it is you may see some new roles which can definitely strike you and look into it so again a good practice for self learning so video switcher not sure what is this basically need to explore it but there is an im role related to that so going back to compute admin role compute os compute uh, so all because of scrolling the entire role i was able to see this so compute os so non administrator that's it folks job done so if i put r and type role so i see there is a group you see this it's a group which has only compute os login role and nothing else nothing else now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a user so called as simple uh, gcp user at the rate gmail.com so add this user to the part of to be part of this group now let me switch basically so this is simple user uh, simple gcp user now if i go to my gmail uh, i have got an invite so i have to accept this invite once i accept it basically uh, i should be able to uh, access it meaning i i already logged in basically so if i now see it it should reflect me uh, that yes you have access to this project all right so i have access to this project basically now what i will do is i'll go to my compute engine screen because i'm i have been given compute os role so this is what you will see uh, and also you will basically see a uh, certain information like this because you have been just given 
compute os login role which is having only 12 permissions with that permission this is what you can see all right now let me ssh i should be able to ssh should not have any issues um, and it will not generate an ssh key so once it locks in so i can just increase the font for a better view uh, larger good now the same screen is what we also saw basically So we have logged in so if i type who am i the same format no under uh, at the rate symbol that is good now if i do sudo minus s this is the highlight of the entire demo i cannot become a root user and when i do it it's going to show a message a philosophical message uh, you need to type the password to log in now, we don't know the password everything we have done uh, so we have not done uh, generated any password so we have logged in basically uh, using the i am role so whatever you type you cannot basically so this is the highlight so when you make someone compute os login role uh, compute os login role they can only be using it for normal purpose as, as a guest user that's it so they cannot basically become a root user to become a root user you have to have minimum compute os admin role or something like more powerful roles like compute instance admin kind of stuff maybe i can show that quickly so we are back in the owner screen so if i just copy this role permission sorry uh, if i search for this and put a filter i'm only looking at compute admin uh, engine so these are the three or uh, four roles where you will have uh, compute instance os admin uh, os admin login permission so if you have this basically you can become a you can use sudo and become a root user so that's the demo which i wanted to share basically uh, my understanding of os login became little clear uh, primarily that os uh, the sudo part you cannot become a root user that was something very clear which we came after doing a little bit of self uh, self study is what i would say uh, hope you like the video and do let me know what is your understanding of os login in the comment section happy to know from you thank you for watching